If it is the littlest backpacker traveling the world, learning about animals, cultures, and people too. Ethan's documenting his travels, he's here to learn, and he'll share what he's learning with you. Hi, I'm the littlest backpacker. I want to tell you some of the things I've discovered on my travels. Tonight on Fast Facts. The David Sheldrick Elephant Orphanage is a special place in Kenya that looks after baby elephants without mummies. The group finds them in the wild abandoned and take care of them until they are ready to go back. The group was founded in 1977 by Mrs. Dane Daphne Sheldrick after her husband died. Mr. Sheldrick was an incredible naturalist and wanted to help save wildlife in Africa from poachers. We couldn't resist going to the orphanage to see the little elephants. The orphanage is only open for an hour daily and after three years old the elephants stop getting contact with humans so they can get ready to be sent back into the wild. African elephants live in the middle Africa they are, their favorite habitats are forests, deserts, and woodlands. African elephants are the biggest land animals. Some of them get to four meters tall. Their big ears are for getting rid of the heat and for good listening. African elephants are one of the world's most intelligent species. They have a, the biggest brain in any land animal, and their brains are a lot in common with human brains. They are able to show emotions and can learn new things. They even know how to invent tools and work together. African elephants are some of the beautiful and incredible animals I have ever seen. But sadly, because of poaching, their population is down to just 400,000 in the Africa to get today. But with the group like David Sheldrick Orphanage, there is still a chance for elephants. I'm Ethan the Littlest Backpack and I'll see you next time on Fast Facts. Subscribe is here. You've been watching Ethan, the Littlest Backpacker out there.